Hello everyone and welcome to a very delayed live stream. Please can you confirm in the chat if you can even hear me, if YouTube is cooperating at this uncertain point in time. I have no idea what happened, but as you may have noticed, I've started a new stream. It's working on my end right now. So just let me know if it's working on your end. I appreciate everyone's patience. I hope everyone is uh, able to make their way over from the old stream to this one because the old one doesn't work. All right, I see people talking in chat. That's good to see. Thank you so, so much for joining. I'm so sorry about that technical hiccup. No idea what happened there. YouTube was giving me zero information, just error. Th that was it. <laughs> but we're not going to be talking about that anymore because <laughs> that was very stressful for me and I'm sure that it was very boring and annoying for you. Uh, but I want to thank everyone for joining. First and foremost, as always, the moderators doing the heavy lifting in chat. Uh, please listen to them. They're just trying to make the chat a better place in this world. So I saw Sarcastically Inspired, I saw Fletcher, I saw Omar. I'm pretty sure Guillermo's here because Guillermo's always here. Um, yeah, there you go. There's Guillermo. <laughs> Evolution Triangle is here as well. Thank you guys so, so much. And a huge welcome to, to the many, many people. Vibe Space, Twins Teeth, Stego with Drip. Hello, Ivan H, Gavi C. Rickrolled101, Noob Master69, Yeetus McGeetus, <laughs> Ant Place, Enrikas. Um, oh god, where did I leave off? Oh my god, chat is going super fast right now. Wizard Chap71, Norman Alexander Studios, Joey T Evolved Gaming, Potato Man456, Wesley Huey13. I lost my place in chat again. That is. Awesome. Thank you, YouTube. You're being very cooperative. Hey, Biggie Cheese is here. Piet Pietro, Pietro, Godfather of Highlights, Gary, the Jurassic... Mag oh, the Jurassic and MCU guy. There you go. My brain caught up on that one. Uh, Leah Gargas, Young Rex 14, Stickman Sooners, Casper... I will not disrespect your last name by trying to pr pronounce it, but welcome, Casper, <laughs> Z Gaming, Funny Turtle, Lucas Bell. Hello, everyone, and let's get started on this build. You've been waiting long enough, I think. So what we're going to do is... I think this is pretty much going to be the culmination of my building a better... <laughs> in Jurassic World Evolution 2. We've done a better Jurassic Park, we've done a better Biosyn Sanctuary, a better Camp Cretaceous, and now it's time for a better Jurassic World. I'm gonna... I feel like... Hold on. I hardly ever play on this map, so it's kind of difficult to figure out even what the best places are for certain things. I think I'm gonna have, like, my my factory over here in this little corner. Uh, by the way, the original map comes with this as the arrival point. We're gonna use that. And it had a control center up here, but I kind of want to do like a hotel or something, or maybe a viewing tower over here for just, just a nice view. Uh, where was I going? Over here. So we're going to first make a hatchery. Oh my god, I missed a super chat. Hey, Shine Ortiz, thank you so, so much. Here's a little something to brighten your mood after those technical glitches earlier. I appreciate that very much. Okay, now is the ultimate test. Is this working? <laughs> Beautiful. Even the hugs work right now. That is nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're gonna be uh, dropping these in. Um, I feel like one is probably enough. Because we're gonna be taking it pretty slow during this build. Because it's gonna be a really big challenge to make something better than the original Jurassic World. Because it was a really cool park to begin with. I'm gonna give it a little bit more space so we can maybe see some cool exit animations, stuff like that. So we're just gonna start off with that. And uh, also what's going to happen is I'll probably work on this park like during the weeks as well. So, you know, we'll, we'll do the big stuff during the live streams, but every time you come back, the park should be like just a little bit different. Uh, you know, some changes, some, some path fiddling stuff that Evo likes to do. Um, I can pretty much, like, do this straight across. Hold on, let me flatten this a little bit more efficiently. Uh, welcome to Evo's clubhouse. <laughs> I have many clubhouses. Wait, that sounds weird. <laughs> uh, there you go. Alright, I'm a little... I'm a little off-kilter right now due to that weird start. But how is everyone doing? 
Oh, I never got to see the uh, poll results, but I'm pretty sure the Jurassic World Park was uh, was winning. I'm also gonna build like another Hyperloop station like behind this entry section. Hey, Kaijuverse, thank you so, so much for the super chat, mate. Are you gonna make a Paddock 10 Spinosaurus? Thank you so much. First, you get a Yahoo. Yahoo. Even the Yahoo's work. I also have a Yahoo for Harry 15. Thank you so much. Yahoo. Uh, I don't know. I mean, no better anything is complete without Spinosaurus. If it's gonna be Paddock 10, I don't know about that. Am I gonna use this one? Hold on, what's the other option? The other option is this one. No, the uh, the control center is better. It's better. I wanna like... There. Just getting this connected so we can get some dinosaurs going. There. Make an enclosure with invisible fences. Cat Niak will definitely be using all of the tools in our toolbox for this build. I think we're gonna go that way, that way. All right, connecting it up here. Now I think what we'll probably do is like work on the main street during this stream, a couple of the first exhibits. So I'm not really sure if we're gonna get like any of the big hitters quite yet, as in like the, the huge attractions like Spinosaurus. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try, try to make it good. What do I actually wanna do here? Maybe I wanna do something a little bit different. No, I feel like we should first go around. But the hitbox is ridiculous on this. Look at that. Why are you like this game? Why do you hate me? Alright, well, we'll do it like that then. Then we'll, we'll, we'll be able to, like, expand on that. Uh, straight. Hold on, I know how to do that. Because we want everything to be, like, perpendicular, right? There you go. Beautiful. And then we have, like, this little... Can we go underneath? Yeah, right there we can. Oh. Hey. Hey. Just sneak it on by. I actually don't know why I did that. <laughs> it was just an urge I had, like an itch, and I had to, I had to go there. And we're just gonna, like, cover this up. I guess that's the reason to do it, because now we have more trees on that side to properly cover all of that up. We're going to use the um, individually placeable ones. Now, I will say, I I don't think I've been back to this map since the Better Jurassic Park build. So it's not really, like, the map I'm most experienced with, I guess. Rexion crack, your name is amazing. <laughs> How are you, Evo? Haven't been in a stream for a bit. I'm doing pretty good. Just trying to recover of a very strange stream start. <laughs> it looked like a headless stick figure. <laughs> I guess you're right. Look, but if these are the arms, at least he's happy about it. Right? Wait, did I miss another super chat? Yes, I did. Legacy Christy 1993. Thank you so, so much for that super chat. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you as well. I hope you're having a good one. <laughs> I never know why you don't use mods, says Mohammed. Well, the reason I don't use mods is twofold. First, I want to give the game a fair chance. Actually, it's threefold. <laughs> First, I want to give the game a fair chance and represent it fairly because I get a lot of people commenting, I bought this game because I saw you play it. So I feel like it's important to give a fair representation of the game. That's point one. Uh, point two is I think the game is pretty dang good without mods. I don't think it's comparable to the first game, which really needed them. I think the, the second game is a lot, a lot better. And the third point is because it's something that I think the console players really appreciate. It. And it's not going to be forever, but we can we can hold out for a little bit. But I think this will probably be one of our last big park builds without using mods. This is not even, is it? No, no, it's not. 
Is that better? That's a little better. It's a little better, but it's not perfect. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I guess that's pretty good. If not, then still. All right, now how dense are these trees? We can we can use a little bit more coverage. These might be too tall, though. Yeah, they're too tall. I might solve it with fencing or something. How about I try that out? Oh, not these, not the invisible fences. They're not gonna hide anything. Yeah, I can do, I can do that. Oh, that just, that just got rid of way too many trees. I just want to really block that eye line. Because the thing is, we don't want our guests to see, like, the behind the scenes, right? We don't want our guests to see the workers, the, the danger. I'm going to be using these trees a lot. I can already tell it's going to be an issue. Oh, we are over 500. That I have an agreement with my moderators. Over 500 means slow mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's uh, it's for it's for everyone's best uh oh my god hold on hold on moderators youtube is oh no no i think i can i think i can there you go now don't worry for everyone who hates slow mode it's a fast slow mode if that makes any sense which i'm aware it it, it really doesn't there you go all right we're getting to it getting to it uh, Cito Mato Uwo, <laughs> did you enjoy Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 5? Not particularly. Um, yeah, how am I going to re respond? I mean, it was... Uh, it, I like the ending. I really like the ending. Um, other than that, Season 1 is still my favorite. And possibly the only season that I really, really, really enjoyed. Because it was, it was about the camp, you know? I feel like we should just like extend this. It might be a little bit, it might, mm -hmm, might be a little bit too much, honestly. Oh god, that's not straight. Ah, I think if uh, you know, once we add trees and stuff in here, it'll be fine. So what I think I'm going to do is we'll leave a little strip of nature here as well. Is that even? Not quite, is it? I feel like I just made the exact same judgment error. I definitely did. We just need... There. Actually, ah, who cares? <laughs> Look, it's a better Jurassic World. I never said it had to be perfect. <laughs> oh, don't come for me. Okay. And what I think I'll do is like make a little circle because when in doubt, I make circles and well, I, I doubt a lot. It's actually kind of cute that it overlaps a little bit. Then we can... Spread out. We're going to be mixing the path colors, obviously. Because that's what I do. By the way, this is all completely unplanned, which is not a great idea. I should have given this some thought beforehand, but... I'm a, I'm a rebel. I'm just a rebel. A rebel without a cause. Nothing to lose. There, something like that, and it should branch out over here. That's going to be an issue. That's really going to be an issue. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Look, bear with me, okay? We're going to have to sometimes be particularly annoying about it. Because we need this, we need this to be good. There. And now we do the thing. Marvelous. Amazing. 
Finley Scott, Evo, when are you switching to mods? Uh, probably when this build is done. So I'm guessing this will probably take us something like four live streams. So in a month's time, I'm guessing. No promises, but that's what I'm guessing. So I feel like what I'm going to do is like do... Uh, like maybe palm trees on either side. Maybe. I should probably switch it up a little bit. Huh. Let's just start with these and see where the ship strands. Actually, maybe not at the very end like that. Is that cute? It's kind of cute. Maybe a little flimsy, but that's okay. Flimsy is okay. We accept a little flimsy. And just about there. I'm not rolling out the measuring tape, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not spacing these evenly. <laughs> Look, it's nature. It's fine. Might be a little bit dull. Oh, I feel like what I want to do over here is... Um, I don't think that's going to work anymore. Nope, that's the wrong one. Excuse me. That's no way. That oh, it does work. Oh my god. I am saved. Oh my god, it works really well. I feel like we can uh, do them back to back, actually. There, Jurassic World. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. Oh, don't, don't. Wow. We needed some height, I feel. Mohamed Kundi, what's your favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur is the Stegosaurus. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm just gonna get, like, some nature work done, actually, and then we can put in the first exhibit. So what I want to do is... I feel like we should extend this somehow. Uh, I'm first just gonna dig down. Because what I want to do is have like this wow moment at the end of the path. That's something I do a lot. We can go a little lower. Like my depression. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh god. Aiden is king. Is comfort on? No, we're not going to be taking into account any of the dinosaur needs. We've just finished a park like that, the All Carnivore Park. That was the previous livestream building series. Um, I'm not going to do that because when you do that, you end up with really ugly exhibits. And that is not what we're going for. <laughs> we want this to be a better Jurassic World. Look, and the dinosaurs are going to be happy, so you can't say they're, they aren't happy. They are happy. They have no comfort. They have no needs. They're the perfect beings. Now, what I feel I want to do is put a lagoon in there. So I'm going to extend this out a little bit. Obviously, we're going to be taking some inspiration from the original Jurassic World. I feel like that's only reasonable, but... Did I miss your super chat, Katano? Oh, no. Oh, it might have disappeared. Oh, no, I see it, I see it, I see it! Oh, my God, Katano, I am so, so sorry. Wow, that's, like, bright yellow. <laughs> First of all, thank you very much. Let's see if the clip works. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Evo. Happy that I'm able to catch another life. I also finally got a next-gen console. Hey, that's awesome. So I get to mix eras now. I'm also excited today because Path of Titans finally made its way to console. It is it is a good time to have a console. I'm happy for you, Katano. Yeah, so you can mix eras. You can build whatever your heart desires. And in case people didn't know, 
Path of Titans is on console now. So if you want like a dinosaur survival game, it's a little less intense, I'd say, than uh, The Isle, but that could be a selling point for you. Then definitely check that out if you've been waiting for stuff like that. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, this is about center, right? From the... We're not going 100% straight, but that's okay. Um, I'm just playing around with the shape. I'm not quite sure yet. It looks like a... Speaking of a <laughs> console, it looks like a controller. <laughs> Maybe I want to make it... Hold on. Maybe I want to make it, like, off-center. Maybe I want to do that. Like, not off-center? What do I mean? Now, now it looks like a tape dispenser! <laughs> Damn it, brain! Stop doing that! <laughs> Hey, Cybertronian Mobian! <laughs> that, make, that makes me think of Morbius. Hello, Tyrannosaurus Allen! What? <laughs> Thanks for your super chat, mate. I appreciate it. It looks like I missed another one. Oh my god, Brian Mendez! Thank you so, so much, mate. You also get a hug. Hi, Evo. Can't wait to see how this park looks finished. Love all your parks. You always inspired me to get back into the game. That is super awesome. That is definitely what I want from the game. Now I can't stop seeing a tape dispenser, which is, um, that's a problem for me. I don't think that's going to work for me. I need to, I need to, I, I need to fix that. I don't know if that's helping. That's definitely making it worse. That's for sure. I do like not going symmetrical with it. But looking at it from this perspective, it's not giving the wow factor. We need more. More. We just need more. More! So we're gonna give it more. I do like the idea of having like a little indentation there. So maybe, maybe that's gonna cut it. And obviously, what we're gonna do here is uh, grab one of these. I wanna put it in the center. I wanna put it like a little bit like that, actually. That's cool. Uh, we can't connect this one to this, because this is, this is personnel only, right? So we should sort of... Here, what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna add flags. So red means that, you know, it's only for staff. Guests are not allowed. I feel like I should also. Here, add a little bit of. Oh god. A little bit of fencing to sort of. Bring home that concept. Uh, so flags, there, red. Guests are not allowed to go in here. That's, just, that's like our staff only section. EJ's Corner, thank you so much for the super chat made. Welcome to the stream. We're gonna be decorating all of this. We're gonna have shops on either side. I feel like over here, I think this could be like our first exhibit, right? So, oh, this is a little small. So I guess we should do it on this side instead. So what we're gonna do is grab some path. We're gonna go, we're gonna bring it out because this is gonna be like building. So we're gonna go like in between the buildings. Uh, maybe like do a cute little, I don't know, a little something. We'll do it like that. Fill that in. And then maybe have a viewing gallery. This one. I think we can fit two next to one another. So that's one. Uh, 
And that's two. And then this can be our first exhibit. Actually, it's kind of cool that we have that bit of mountain over there. So... We're just gonna try to make it look a little bit more natural. Because it's looking a little weird right now. A little flat. It's gonna be difficult. But if we do it slowly and we build it up... We get like a little bit more of a natural look to it. Hey, thanks so much for that super chat, Yo Day G. Oh my God, is that? It, did I mispronounce your name last time? Did I just totally mispronounce it again today? Honestly, this is Jurassic Park, not Jurassic World. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, but first, you get a hug. Like, what What makes it Jurassic Park, not Jurassic... It literally says Jurassic World. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go too far with it, because I feel like I might want to extend this. By the way, I really love that this map has this elevated border over here. All of the other maps are completely flat all the way around. This is just a little building tip from me to you. If you have this part where the map itself, the border is at an elevation, just make use of that. Don't try to flatten it to this edge. Make a platform and try to make something of it. I still cannot unsee the tape dispenser, but maybe once we have buildings, <laughs> it'll be better. Hey, Michael Gallantly, thank you so much, mates. I appreciate it. <laughs> I hope I can provide plenty of inspiration. That is, uh, that is my dream. Okay, so I think... No, the first bit should be just... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, I don't think dinosaurs can fit through there, so I think it's fine, but it's a little, um... Oh no. <laughs> oh god, speaking of oh no. Okay, so I think what I'll just do is... And maybe go a little bit over... That way. And we're gonna have like a windowed effect over here, so. Let me just do that, that's easier. La 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 la, just plenty of those. Uh, we're gonna make this one quite small because it's gonna have small animals in it. And now I'm gonna switch to invisible just so we can hide it better. With the rest of the stuff. That's gonna maybe look a little bit weird, but I'm I'm hopeful that we can cover that up nicely with uh, foliage and stuff. Donna Park, Dan, now you need to name something in the lagoon tape dispenser. Honestly, I kind of like that idea. Maybe we should just roll with it. Maybe we should just roll with it. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it though. Maybe I should just commit and. Um, Hold on, 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 hold on. There's something else I can do. Let me play around with this. Forgive me for this uh, annoying interruption. Let's speed this up. Because we can't have it be too big, right? Because that's just a waste of space. But what we could do is oh god that's not how that's not how you make lagoons that's not how it's done if we make this a straight edge maybe not it's gonna be really difficult i wish we could segregate the lagoons okay well we're gonna grab a different type so we can get really close to it yeah this is gonna be super challenging Dang, it's not quite perfect. Let's see, where am I at? That's better. Okay. 
It might look a little too weird now, but maybe once we add like some foliage here. Let me just try this. Try this out for size. Like if we f if we fill that up a little bit and here as well, just sort of hide hide the blemishes, then maybe we can make this work, and then we can have like different species while it's still being like realistic. That you know that they won't kill each other. I might kind of like it. I'm still on the fence though. Let me get let me know what you guys uh, think. Oh my god, we have two super chats. Oh my god, and I miss one. EJ's corner again, Evo, I'm a big fan, and you should make a better Jurassic Park 3 video. Honestly, there's not really much to recreate there, and that's something that's holding me back, but thank you very, very, very much. And Kaijuverse, also a hug for you. Can you make a T-Rex kingdom like how it was in the movies? It's always been my favorite paddock. Thanks, Evo. Uh, I wish I could, but we don't really have the tools for that. So again, that's something that's holding me back because we, we literally can't improve on the, what's it called? On the kingdom. It is as, it is as good as it can get in the movie. So I feel like we should take it in a different direction. Now, what would you guys feel is a good dinosaur for the first exhibit? And I'm not going to accept any answers like Spinosaurus or T-Rex. It needs to be like a warm-up dinosaur. Like, we're building an experience here, right? We need to up the ante as people go through the park. So this needs to be relatively basic. You don't want to give out the best dinosaur at the very start. Uh, Dino Park Dan says Ankylosaurus. The Animal Show says Archaeonathomimus. Everything Channel Dryo. Something weird, Allura Titan. I do think that's a pretty cool idea. Maybe we could do like a little mix. Honestly, Allura Titan might be on the big side. Maybe the Hadrosaurus need like a, a, a bigger space. I see Minmai, that's cute. I feel like stuff like Minmai, hold on, I need to write this down. I think Minmai and Homolocephaly are gonna be our petting zoo animals. Because I do want to do like some sort of petting zoo. I'm writing this down, okay? Petting zoo. Minmi and uh, Homolo. Yes, I know my park is closed. Thank you very much. I'm well aware. Tell me something I don't know. Peyton says Packy. Emerson also says Packy. I think that's a good place to start, actually. Let's do Packy. And maybe we'll mix it up with something else. But Packy is definitely way too dangerous for something like a petting zoo. Oh, Dryo is good for a petting zoo as well. Packy, 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 Packy. Does anyone have a good skin suggestion for Packy? Or should we just, like, randomize it and see what we get? Anthony, I feel like the pairs deserve more space. I think what's going to be cool is if we have, like, a really big um, hadrosaur exhibit with, like, a tour going through it. Oh, yeah, most people say randomized. Okay, 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 okay. I, I do agree. Because we're going to have a couple, right? And we don't want them to all look the same. Would it be cute to add Pachyrhinosaurus? Like, do Pachycephalosaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus? Is that cute or is that just stupid? That's probably stupid. <laughs> Whackman says Stiggy Moloch. Let's do that as well and keep them, uh, keep them together. Should we then also just do Dr Dracorex? And just sort of... Packies and Packies know it's cool. Emma says not very good. <laughs> Oh, but Bonzale says cute AF. You know what? We're going to do it. So we're going to add Stiggies and we're going to add Packy Rhinos. I might have to make this exhibit a little bit bigger. Hey, Jurassic Guild, thank you so much for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. All right, Packy, 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 Packy. I was close, right? I was... No, wait. Uh, I went for Stiggy, so we've moved away from the P. That sounds weird. <laughs> but you should always move away from the P. Um, should we also randomize these skins? We're not going to have too many Pachycephalosaurus. So maybe we should do like a special skin for the males. 
like a colorful skin and then a more bland skin for the female. So hold on, I'm, go I'm gonna make what I think is gonna be a bland, you know what, no pattern. And I'm gonna go with this for the females. And then you guys come up with something for the male. Casewing says mangrove. That's promise. Is it actually blue though? We'll see. Um. Oh, Nair says Salar del Huasco with Paparana. That's green with white. Hmm. I'm gonna try this because a lot of people are saying Rana. Maybe I should go for mangrove. That was the first suggestion. Let's do this. And see how that turns out. Uh, let's also just do all of the stiggies. Let's fly these out. Yeah, I should probably add like this back section to it. Let's first see how it looks. That is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. So it's a little crowded, not gonna lie. Also, what I should do before they get flown in, excuse me for a second, is add like the windowed effect. So, hold on, let me do that regular speed. Which fence do I like? I think I like this one. And we're just gonna like alternate, so. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Alright, well, it's something. It's something, it's something. Let's get these going. Okay, so these are the females. So let's do three females. And just one male. Let me change one setting. I don't want them to need food. Dinosaur injuries off, escapes off. Yeah, okay, so that's all good. Mr. Chess, Sash says, it's sad the morals didn't make it in for Dominion DLC. That is sad. I'm still hopeful we are, we're going to get it. Uh, otherwise, it's going to cost me a giveaway. <laughs> I feel like if we don't get it by August, it's not... No, wait. Whenever the movie comes out on DVD slash Blu-ray, if it hasn't happened by then, it's not going to happen. That's my bet. So I'm thinking slash hoping that it is still going to happen when the game comes out. Uh, sorry, when the movie comes out on DVD. Okay, that is a, a kind of a sickly combination, not gonna lie. Should we also add Draco Rex uh, Kaiju verse? Yahoo. Yahoo! We'll also do Draco Rex. We'll have the whole. You, you know what? Let's just pretend that they're all packies. The D is way up here, Evo. Congratulations. Where? There you go. I'm also going to randomize these. Let's just pretend that these are baby packies. Because you know what we have in a better Jurassic World? We have breeding in a better Jurassic World. I'm honestly not entirely sure I can pull off a better Jurassic World, but we're going to try. With your help, I'm going to try. All right, well, this is going to take a while, so we might as well, like, try to decorate the exhibit. I think it's fine in terms of size. Obviously, it wouldn't really meet their requirements, but you have to remember that in zoos, animals are in a fairly small enclosure. We can have all sorts of opinions about it, and I do, but let's not forget that this is just a game. <laughs> And we wanna we wanna make optimal use of our space here. I'm just trying to like sort of like transition naturally from the the big concrete fence to the invisible fence. So I'm just sort of doing this. So it looks a little less stark and sudden from uh, from the perspective of the gallery. There. Uh, I'm in the wrong place. 
<laughs> don't say your name. Okay, I won't. But thank you very much. Uh, can I just call you G? I'll just call you G if that's okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so let's get some of these real close and get something behind here. Oh God, that's way too tall. There, that's, a, that's sort of a natural transition. You know, I'd buy that, I'd believe that. I think we might no, it's, the airspace is still occupied. Okay. Uh, can you straighten this out, please? There. Uh, I think I want to put my water right here, so I need to wait for this to disappear. EJ's Corner, thanks so much for the super chat, mate. And uh, I can call you G, okay? <laughs> EJ's Corner says, Evo, do you play Jurassic World Alive, Jurassic World the game, Minecraft, or Roblox? I want to friend you on Roblox. I play Jurassic World Alive sometimes, but I don't play it as intended. I just dart dinosaurs, because I it's relaxing to me. I don't know what it is, but it relaxes me. I don't do the battles and stuff like that. All of the other games, I don't play, unfortunately. Whoa, Iron Leviathan is in the chat. Thank you so much, mate. You are also always super, super generous. I appreciate it so much. Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Iron Leviathan says, Hey, Evo, can't stick around, unfortunately, but I look forward to watching it later. Enjoy your day, Evo. Thanks so much, mate. Have a good day as well. And uh, I'm sorry you can't make it to the full stream, but I hope to see you again for another one. There, come on, come on. Okay, now we can edit the terrain here. Okay, so what I want to maybe do is like pretend that we have... Maybe go over there. That's a weird shape, isn't it? I like weird. Weird is good. And sort of just peters off like that. And I think maybe... Maybe we can sort of pretend that the water trickles down from up there. This might be a little much, honestly. Let's check the view. I feel like if I add maybe a rock or something just to obstruct it a little bit. We need like a... A very precisely placed tree, I think. That's not at all where I ne needed it to be. It's also just too tall. What will be the next build? My dude! We've, we've barely started this one. I don't know. Actually, I do know, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I do know. I do know what the next build is gonna be. It might be simultaneous with this one because it's going to be a building series like in video format. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh, I wanted to use my gray rock texture, but we don't have that here. Aww. Now Evo is sad. Okay, just brushing it on a little bit first, actually. And then we paint it. Again, not worrying too much about this back end because I might be extending it later depending on what we're going to build up there. So I'm just like adding these veins of rock. And I think we're going to add some foliage up in this section. Because remember, we're pretending that like a waterfall comes down from here. So something a little bit like that. Might even add like a little bit of mud. Oh, we should add mud around here. Or sand. No, mud. No, I like mud. Oh, I need to be flying more dinosaurs out. I am so sorry. I am all over the place. 
Okay, Stiggy Malik. I have way too many dinosaurs. It's gonna get way too crowded in here. I might have to get rid of some of them. Because we have Stiggy, we have Pachyrhinosaurus, and then we're also gonna have the um, Drake Rex. So it's, it's quite busy. You cheer me up? Like, everyone cheers me up. I appreciate the super chats, I really do. But honestly, just having you guys in the chat. We have 688 people in the chat. That is awesome. And that is honestly cheer enough for me. Thank you very much. If you want to add some extra cheer and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. That is just like S tier. That is just above and beyond. But thank you very much for the super chat, Kaijuverse. <laughs> A little bit of nature, because, you know, nature got a nature. Oh, let's use these, because I, I hardly ever do. And now I know why I hardly ever do, because they look like big piles of dino dung. <laughs> Too close. Well, then move! This is way too small. This is very ineffective. Too close. Well then stop coming towards where I'm building! Just walk away. Just walk away. There, just a, just a cute little moment. Cute little moment. Maybe we'll add some sand over here. Just do. It's not perfect, but yeah, and yes, those sounds are very necessary. It's fine. Hey, EJ's corner. Thank you so so much. We just passed 400 likes. Thank you guys so so much. Again, I'm so sorry about the rocky start to the stream, but I appreciate having you guys uh, join in and support. What I just realized I could do is have a lagoon over here and have that be where we like hatch and make the animals. So I don't need a hatchery on every single thing. The placement is not perfect, but well, what is honestly? Is it going to hurt my soul that this is now off center? It probably will. But I'm gonna live with it. Okay, so let's do some buildings around here, right? Oh wow, this is way deeper than I thought. Let's do the big one. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna customize this with the right colors at least. That'll be something. I'm gonna try to customize the buildings. <laughs> I always neglect to do that, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put a rock over here. Mix it up a little bit. It's kind of weird, isn't it? You guys make some weird sounds. Oh my god, there are so many. Alright. Oh, look at him! Oh, cuties. Hey, Jennifer Leon, thank you so much. Hi, Evo, this is my first live stream, but I've purchased the game because I was inspired by your bills. Excited to follow along in this one. Thank you so much, and that's absolutely awesome. Oh my god, the airspace has finally cleared. Welcome to your first ever live stream. Uh, I give out hugs to the donator, so I hope you enjoyed your hug. Raptors are the best huggers, honestly. It's like no contest. Yeah, this is gonna, be, this is gonna get very crowded. 
I also just wasted a ton of space, but I think I'll just accept that. All right, so what I want to do for the entry is um, do that one. What You know what? Give me input. What kind of color scheme do you think we should have? We'll probably mix it up throughout the park, but what should we do around the entry? Rider falls everything. Lol, I thought you I thought you were playing the first game for a minute. Honestly, I can't blame you. This environment is just so quintessential Jurassic Squad Evolution 1. I see orange, white, black. That's kind of fancy. Red and yellow, white, black, red, bright cut. It's all over. I should just pick something. Alonia says white and blue. I kind of like that because it is the Jurassic World color. So for the entry section, I think that makes sense. Um, so, hold on. I first want to... What am I actually changing here? Hold on. Let's make it nice and colorful. Decorations. We'll do the trees. I think this is kind of cute since this is going to be quite heavily trafficked. Or... We can do a little seating section. We should probably do that. A little seating section. Yeah, and then it's facing... Yeah, no, this is better. And then it's facing the entry point. Okay, so blue and white. Um... Honestly, I think that's going to be quite fancy. What kind of blue does the sign have? This is pretty close, actually. Okay, so apply. And then secondary is white. We'll also... Hold on, what if we play around with this a little bit? Like, for example, orange? Like the... Uh, like the terracotta roof? Or white? Oh no, white's way better. That's kind of cute. <gasps> the lights. Oh my god. The lights. Um, I'm just going to go with orange lighting because it's just warm. I like that. Alright. Save as default. Yes. Okay. I think that looks quite nice. Okay. So what I was saying. Hold on. Let me first sneak in another building. We'll do medium. That gives us plenty of space in between. <gasps> oh, I know what I can do to maximize this space. I can pull it back a little bit. Move. Now I have to wait for it. Just so we have more space and we don't waste as much in between. That's not going to work, so we'll do it like that. That's also not going to work, so we'll do it like that. <laughs> I'm repeating myself. There. Now we're going to move it again. <laughs> move. It still fits. Beautiful. Do I maybe want to leave a little bit of space to put the fencing in between? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it open, so I'll just get it as close as possible. I'll figure it out. You're actually decorating the buildings! I know, right? Oh my god, it's self-improvement. <laughs> I hardly ever do actually I never do that. I should be honest with myself. I never do that. But I'm going to now. Okay, so a drink shop across. We're going to have a little seating section in between. We're just going to see what kind of... So, for example, entrance should be left angled. Yeah. Hey, Katano. Thanks so much for another super chat, mate. I'm so sorry about the first one. If I think you accidentally missed my first super chat, I did respond to it, but I feel like maybe you happened to be gone at that moment because I did see your yellow super chat as well, but I'm so sorry about initially miss missing it. 
Uh, I finally got next-gen console. Yeah, I definitely responded to that one. So I feel like you maybe popped out for a little bit. But I'm super excited for you to have Mixed Eras and Path of Titans. I'm really happy. And, of course... The death. The crazy one. son of a The death. Honestly, this is a this is a really cute combo. I really like that. I think uh, the white and blue is quite nice. So what I'm gonna do now is this is gonna be this is gonna be delicate. There. Is that gonna fit? Oh, that does fit. Now this is gonna be delicate. There you go. That's lovely. There, just a little stop. Oh yes, okay, 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 okay. And then what we're gonna do... Okay. Let's fly out the rest. So this would be our male packy rhino. I think it works. I don't think it's... I, I think it works. I think it's okay. We might want to go a little less crowded after a bit, but for now I think it's okay. Quite sure how I feel about that, but just trying it on for size. Have it be like a cozy little area. And what we can do over here is get these and then these. Now they're not perfectly like. Oh god. There, and I'll, I'll put something else in that corner, I guess. Maybe a torch. You know how I feel about the torches. I love them. Maybe not a torch. <laughs> Maybe definitely not a torch. Oh my god, really? Not... I can make that work. I can accept that. That's okay. And we'll do the same on this side, but first I feel like I should put the building. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Yorks, the aisle stream is tomorrow. Oh, I should put that. Hold on. Double stream weekend. The aisle tomorrow. Yeah, I forgot to do a community post about it. I'm sorry about that. There, and I'll pin that message because that's important. Hey, Kaiju First, thanks so much for another super chat, mate. You are super, super generous. <laughs> It's making me a little nervous, this gap here, but I think it's proving to work just fine. I was making a Metricanthosaurus, I got the name wrong, but anyway, I forgot to airlift it, so it was in my Triceratops cage. Ooh, I hope you had combat and stuff turned off. Otherwise, I feel like that actually might end up being bad for the uh, Metri and not the Trike. Uh, let's do a gift shop now. The blue and white is looking really fresh. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about these. I'm gonna... Oh god, that's not what I meant to delete at all. I'm gonna try something, okay? So what if instead, for example... No, we definitely need the height. So what if we maybe lined it with these? I'm gonna break my game again. I feel like at this point, I just need to break my game with every single park I build. <laughs> That's pretty much the goal, I guess. Should I leave space to put something in between? I think I should. 
How much space do I need for a light? Oh, they can get super close. Oh, wow. I'm gonna pull them back, I think. Okay, so... It's gonna be too much work to, like, switch for every single one. So I'm just gonna, like, eyeball it and hope I get lucky. If this works out, I'm not going to do the other parts, don't worry. That is something I would do in my own time. Ooh, close call. And then we put the palm trees behind it. I think that's going to be better. Honestly, it might be cute to like go... ...a little less strict about it, but... Let me just first try this. And like fill it up a little bit. The hitboxes are pretty good, but ideally they would have made them even smaller than this. Here, and then like a couple of these. What if we like add a couple of these? Just make it more natural, you know? Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, so the palm trees are just like really linear and all in the same place, but then we add a little bit of variation throughout with uh, with some different plants. I think that's gonna be a lot nicer. Let's do these. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you little bugger. There you go. Yeah, if you are using mods, you could definitely make this, like, much more filled up. But I, I like that a lot more. This is just bare bones in comparison. What I also want to do is grab my paintbrush. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? What is this? Hold on. Dirt, rock. Okay, we need dirt. And do that. Yes. I will do the same thing on these things, but I won't do it during the stream. I'll just do it, I don't know, on a Monday morning when I'm, like, trying to wake up. <laughs> this feels like a trying-to-wake-me-up kind of chore. I also think I'm gonna do mud over here and eventually decorate that. Uh, I think I still have Dracos in here. Yes, I do. Wow, I've literally only built one exhibit. This is gonna be... It's gonna be a long one, folks. Not the stream, but like the build. <laughs> Monster Zero, if of this is unmodded, I'd love it. And you should put Aloe, Cardo, and Baryonyx. It is unmodded, so I hope you do love it. Uh, we'll definitely add stuff like Aloe, Cardo, and Berry, but not during this stream, because... Um, well, it's, it's already been a long time, and this is literally all I've done so far. But that's what you get when you're trying to build a better something. You have to be really precise about it. Okay, so what I am going to do... Is fill up the lagoons. So I think this should be Moza. And this should be... I don't know, something. <laughs> I don't know yet. Maybe you guys can decide. Like, give me... Uh, I feel like it should be one of the big boys, though. Let's first get started on the Moza. What's wrong? Oh, it doesn't have a path connection. Yep, there you go. I am a genius. There. It's 
like a little burp, little heartbeat. Burp, burp. Gotta have an indom, definitely. But we're gonna put it in a safe cage because that's what also makes a better Jurassic World. It's gonna be safe. Alright, in terms of colors, what I think I'm gonna try is I'm gonna not do a pattern, make them blue, and just see if that's cool. I'm actually gonna make two and have them be different colors. Because what else is better than one Mosasaurus? Two Mosasaurus. There. No, I want to make the white one because it actually is really, really, really light. So I like that. If you want Atrociraptor, then use Herrerasaurus. Honestly, that is a good replacement. Yahoo. I'm gonna open the park, guys. We don't have much yet, but we're gonna do it. We're also gonna do that and... The hitbox on that monorail arrival point is crazy? Like, what is that? Like, Jesus, what is... why? How far do you need me to go here? Like, for real. My god, dude. You have issues. Look at this. Look at this. Look how far. That's crazy. That's crazy. Here come the people, folk. Yeah, that... No. <laughs> that was wishful thinking on my part. What about over here, though? Oh. Hold on. But what if... Hey! You know, just covering up a little bit. Oh, I need to leave space for the trees. Hey, bunny! You have come to bless me with your presence. I have a little bunny beside me. Hey, baby. Let's do another pink one. Nope. How about this pink one? Nope. How about this pink one? Eh? Eh? It's not much, but it's something. Can we? Oh, that is kind of cool, isn't it? It's also a fire hazard. I just realized there's literal torches in there. So maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we should just go for a slightly different plants. I think that's better. Ooh, we can sort of like get those in there oh yeah oh she liked that oh she does like that hold on where were you I saw you I saw you there yeah see oh that's nice oh this is turning out kind of cute not gonna lie this kind of cute I should have planned that a little better Are you sure? Yeah. You sure? You're absolutely certain? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're sure, you're sure. We can go on the path a little bit. Nature's a rebel. Nature does that. Trees literally grow out of concrete. We've all seen that happen. Yeah, that's cute. Coyote! You know who else is cute? My bunny. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I was just gonna look over, but he already left. <laughs> no. 
there. That's kind of nice. Uh, are these not randomized? These palm trees are not randomized. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're not randomized. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hey, Beast101, thank you so much. My battery is only at 10% right now, so I have to go. See ya, good luck. Quick, quick, run to your charger. Yahoo. Okay. Let's continue on these Mosas. Begin. The bunny disappeared. Yeah, where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Uh, Case Wings, uh, as far as I know, we're not looking for more moderators right now. If we are, there will be like a... Uh, uh, like, like an ask for it. We'll ask for more moderators when we need them. But I appreciate you offering, though. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Wham. And a torch. It's kind of cute. And what these are gonna do, they're just adding like a little bit of color in front of the concrete. Oh no, this one has five. Oh my god. Like, just pretend, okay? <laughs> Just pretend. But also at night they give a really nice shine on the concrete. And what we can also do is add a fountain. Bam! And maybe... There, a little, little private section. I need to do something here. How about... How about this one? <gasps> yes! Oh, that fits too perfectly to ignore. Okay, I think that's pretty cute. Oh, I hate that these are all, like, perfectly the same. <laughs> I'll switch that up in my own time. Okay, don't worry about it. All right, let's see some Moses. Let's also do name suggestions for these guys. So we need two Moza names. Hi, big girl. Wait, didn't I choose blue? This is definitely green. Like, this is 100% a green Mosasaurus. Okay, so first name. I see Sashimi. Yes, it does indeed say Sashimi. <laughs> Alright, so that's Sashimi. Wait, did I say Sashimi? <laughs> it's Sashimi, right? Pretty sure. I actually don't know, but I'm pretty sure. And... Second one. Okay. Peekaboo! And Armagon says Leo... Leodinus? I think you mean Leonidas? I'm gonna assume you mean Leonidas. If not, you you are free to correct me. But I think you meant Leonidas. Alright. Uh, I don't have a thing. <laughs> a ranger station. Uh, so, excuse me. Response facility. So I'm just gonna... Look, this is all ugly at this point. But I'm gonna beautify this when we get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Mosas in here. I think that's pretty neat. We're gonna decorate this island a little bit, so... Put some of these trees behind. Maybe... Like one of, one of these. Is this one bigger, smaller? It's a little smaller. Uh, let's first do some rocks. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. I also think I'm gonna paint these with dirt again. 
I don't often build on this map, and one of the reasons is the grass is just so green. I don't like how it looks. I way prefer the other biomes, so yeah, I'm gonna whip this one out and do that. Maybe just lighten it, like, or darken it, I should say, like that. Leave some patches. Ooh, or... Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, that's cute. There you go. That's kind of nice, right? Soulless Beard! Thank you so much for the super chat, mate. You have an awesome name. <laughs> I appreciate the fact you're not using mods just yet. It definitely inspires console players like myself to work with what we got. That is awesome. Thank you. Uh, yes, <laughs> that is one of the reasons why I'm still playing on modded. Also, just I like the challenge for myself as well. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to using mods. I think they add a lot to the game. But it's also just fun to challenge yourself to do without it. You know, if you do have the game on PC, that is. Am I going to put them over here? or yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, there, put two like that. I think maybe what we're gonna do on this side and really get some different elevations going on. Oh god, what did I just do? Just dig down. not sure yet what we're gonna do in that. I feel like I should continue it to this level. Really get some different elevations in here. I also maybe want to go up on this end. We're losing a little bit of space at the edge there, but that's okay. It's really important that you bring elevation into your park, like elevation differences. Alright. Alright, let's shoot these Moses. You know, let's, uh, let's actually fly them. <laughs> We're gonna tranquilize them ourselves. Lift off. I'm gonna stay low. Ah! Oh, it goes via via the thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes via the thing. Yeah, it sends out a drone. I remember. I remember. Oh, that makes me sad. I thought you could literally just shoot them in the water. Sad. Sad. Heartbreaking. Okay, so what's gonna happen over here, right? We're gonna have the path, like, come out. To, like, about there, apparently. I'm gonna go... That way. And you're gonna have, like, this, whoa, look at these lagoons, and that's cool, and you're gonna see the rest of the park in the distance. I might actually put another lagoon right here and put it up against this one. Might be kind of nice. Maybe not. But I do think that's gonna happen. Okay, so then off to that side. At some point I'm also gonna need a train station, so maybe... Because I always like having the monorails just at the very edge of the map and sometimes bringing them more into the map purposefully. But usually I tend to try to hide them. So I think I should do that here as well. So maybe go at the diagonal. I'm trying this out for size. I think that could work. That path is gonna go somewhere. I don't quite know where. Just 
just widening that. It's really important to me that I don't make everything perfectly symmetrical. Like, to a certain extent, yeah, that's nice. Personally, I don't like the aesthetic of going too far with that. I want to I wanna mix it up quite a bit. So, for example, right here, we're not doing a symmetrical thing. I think that'll work quite well. Hey, George Mal Miles Racing, thanks so much for the super chat, mate. <laughs> Blue Raptor says, I can confirm, Raptors give great hugs. <laughs> King of the Dinosaur says, I just made a beautiful mountain, that's awesome. Austin F. Gamer says, it's annoying making Jurassic World on console since I can't pack the amenities together without mods. That is very annoying. Yeah, you can get them pretty close, but definitely, obviously, having PC controls helps a lot with that. Hey, G, thanks so much for the super chat, you get hugged. Oh my god, oh my god, I need to get these. Hold on, hold on, your, your comment is disappearing. G. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say their name because I always mispronounce it. <laughs> Can you add evil steak? Don't be evil by saying my name wrong. <laughs> when you use mods, you will be evil anyway, so you can if you want. Can you add evil steak? I don't think I know what you mean. Z Gaming says, according to Alan Grant himself, raptors give the best hugs. The best hug you'll get in your life and probably the last. Okay, so that's going to be... Let's put another exhibit over here. So we're going to continue this trajectory. Let me just do that so it's perfectly, like, symmetrical. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh my god, Eva, focus! There, take that back, go to invisible, we'll follow that. And, um, I guess we'll connect it over there. Kaiju vs. Super Moza! Thanks for the super chat, mate. Yahoo! All right, now which fence? I think I used this one. I'm not actually sure. No, this one? Yeah. Okay, so I left two, so I'll do two again. There, let's not go overboard. Actually, because this isn't going to really count, is it? So maybe... Hold on. There. That. And just put like a regular fueling thing in there. Like that. Vert, hello, welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen your name before. Also, thank you very much for the super generous super chat. Thank you. You crazy son of a b you're dead. What a way to come into the chat. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Uh actually let's only go let's yeah, let's do that. Oh god, oh, oh. Huh? Apparently this path is not perfectly perpendicular to the enclosure. So we'll just do it like that. Yeah, a little branch off to the side. That actually makes sense. This is a really long strip of path. That might be a little bit concerning. What I might actually do is widen it. I think I want to widen it with a different color, though. What's the bunny doing? I see I see you thinking about something. I see you. 
Okay, how about we do like a little strip of a different color. It's not going to work perfectly, is it? I don't know yet where this is going to go. I just need an ending point to it. There. Oh god, what just happened there? What is that? What? 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 Oh my god, is that going to happen for every single one of them? It is. Damn it. Okay, so that was a huge waste of time. Apparently we need to do it like that. <laughs> they make some weird sounds. <laughs> but so do I, so I guess it's fine. Alright, now there you go. Now we can delete them cleanly. And we'll attach these like that. It's maybe a little weird that it's off center, but I don't mind it too much. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, like that. Well, there, and I think it might be cool if we do this fountain. It's so small. <laughs> it's so small. It looks pathetic. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it looks absolutely pathetic. Oh, God. I need to rethink that. That is... <laughs> That's not at all what I had in mind. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone have a suggestion for the dinosaur to put in this exhibit? Again, not something epic, something appropriate for the start of a park. I also want to make this path gray, actually. I think that makes a little bit more sense. There. That's kind of nice. It's, it's kind of off kilter and different. Uh, Aranosaurus, a Margosaurus. It's a little small for a Marga. Well, a Marga is pretty small. Triceratops. Triceratops could be cool. Dimetrodon. Hmm. It's also kind of different. Now, I feel like I should. I feel like I should stick with herbivores over here. Huayangosaurus is also cool. Huayangosaurus, Kentro. Hmm. What did we have in here? We have... Aww. Sorry, I'm gonna distract it. We had the Packies and the Packies. I think a species of Ceratopsian is gonna be quite cool. So let's see, I saw someone say Chasmosaurus. Maybe like Chasmo and Triceratops. Those two were suggested. And I think there's like a pretty significant size difference there. Which might be cute. So I'm gonna get the trike. And for the trike I'm gonna do the JP skin. Because it also changes the model, which I prefer. And then for Chasmo, maybe just randomize it? Unless someone has, like, a good suggestion for the Chasmo. George Miles, hi Evo. Any tips on getting inspo for parks? Um, honestly, I, I would hope that you would find plenty of inspiration on my channel. <laughs> if not, what I always like to do is Google, like, um, public squares, uh, modern architecture, 
uh, or any architecture, honestly, uh, classic architecture always works. Uh, also work, sorry. And I always just get inspiration from that. I just sort of look like how I can replicate that maybe with path or a park layout. And I sort of like deconstruct it from there. I think we should just randomize it and get a nice uh, different, different herd of them. Because all the trikes are going to look the same. So I think that's, that makes sense. All right, our mozas are in. I am going to add the shark feeder, even though they're not going to eat. I do think that's cool to add in. Oh, that works. That works. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Actually, it's not. Well, yeah, no, we can see it. We can see it. The support is almost in the way, but not quite. Maybe I should have gone for a different post. Hold on. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Careful. Hold on. Uh, that's the one I had. We have that one. Wait, what's the difference between these? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Honestly, I feel like this one looks the most show appropriate. Yeah. Okay, pretty cool. I think over here, Tylo, probably? In terms of size, I think that's the best choice. Yeah. I'm just gonna randomize these and see what happens. Honestly, marine reptiles just don't have great skins. I would love Bridges, Fletcher, Preach! Man, Bridges would be good. Okay. Uh, I don't have a restroom yet, but what I realize is I can put a restroom over here. I sort of make use of the fact that we have this little odd bit of path over there. I think that works out quite well. I like the monorail over here. So, you know, theoretically, I don't have any particular place to go yet, but we would, ju we would just follow the outside of the, of the map like that. Oh, God. And we should probably go... Up and drop off guests over there. That would make me a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna be cool for like having a hotel with like an epic view. So maybe I'll put the station like over there. Oh god, what did I just do? Oh, the glue. There. Just trying it on for size. Oh my god, this is way bigger than I thought. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. And maybe... Sort of... Slot them together a little bit. Like that? I think that... I think that's gonna have a really cool view. I might do three. I'm gonna make all three of them. Cause why not? Living the dream. Tyler the Tylosaurus. <laughs> Maybe you could add Taurosaurus to Tricera and Casmo? Is Toro smaller or bigger than the trike in this game? I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna do three trikes. We'll do all of the Casmos. Yeah, you know what? Sure, we'll add the Toro. Toro, 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 Toro. I'm gonna randomize these as well. See if we get something fun! What I also, like, over here just turned out that way, but I also really want to not have all of the exhibits just be, like, straight-edged like this. Definitely want some more variation in size and shape. Hmm. 
And they're sort of hiding that. Uh, maybe what I should do why oh, why do I always grab the path when I'm looking for water it just it triggers me okay, I sort of pretend that it like uh, there you go something like that Because again, we're sort of like pretending that there's water trickling down from here, right? So maybe I should add like a couple of trees up here. <laughs> it's it's the basically what I'm saying is the pool is leaking water and it's going down the mountain and into here. <laughs> or people are like flushing their t no don't don't even go there. <laughs> like mentally, don't even go there. Hey, thank you so much for pointing it out, Sarcastically Inspired. We are indeed past 600 likes. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so much. You guys are awesome. And you know it. Alright, let's release these. We're just gonna watch the exit animation. Uh, camera, you need to go down. There you go. Oh, that's spoopy. I like the exit animation music, that's cool. All right, give me three names, folks. Mean. All right, first name I see is Spaghetti. Not uh, spelled correctly, but I think that might be the point. Sarcastically says Simon. You know what, sure. Simon? And I see Alonia says Hunter. Spaghetti Hunter and Simon. I love it. Alright, we have the names, folks. <laughs> Where's the third one? Where's the third one? Are you... Hello? Oh, there you go. I want to try and see... If I can... Would that be funny? No. I think it might be kind of cool. I'm not quite sure yet how big I'm going to make it. But just having like... Something. Might be cool to just have the two. Have it be a small thing. Also kind of tempted. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, well, temptation resolved then. It's like slightly off center and it hurts my soul. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I have no other choice, do I? I've laid my bet. Made my bet. Sorry, now I must lay in it. Okay, so at this point, we're over here. We should go down. Oh, I'm forgetting about my trikes and stuff. I need way more space than this. Alright, we're smoothing it out. 
Is that doable? I think that's okay. And what we can do now... Is do that. Make like a little pathway down. I think that works out quite well. We can sort of do the same thing over here. Hey, Franks of Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat, mate. Yeah. Can we make Mon Uh I can make them, but I don't think I'm going to have time to make an exhibit for them right now. But we can get started on them. There, so we have our ways to get down to this lower level. It's gonna be a very long path. I don't care though, it's fine. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, they're all floating. <laughs> there and there. Oh, okay, wait, what? I had them all right. Oh, I totally forgot about the multi select. That's dumb. I'll do two Toros. This is a very small exhibit, but I thought the same thing about the previous one and that worked out fine. So I'm going to hold off judgment there. I'm going to start on the Monlophosaurus. I want to randomize those skins because Monlophosaurus basically has sk stellar skins throughout. I know the alphabet. I'm a liar. Yeah, I'm going to randomize this. There. Begin. Oh my god, that escalated quickly. We're gonna make them all. <laughs> okay, so that's happening. Let's add a few more shops here while we wait. Let's make them supersized. Oh, we, we had that, so we'll do that and maybe do two smaller ones over here so drink and another shopping on this side as well bum, 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 bum. I actually want to go large and I want to go food and a large drink and then two of these. It's quite a bottleneck because we're going like a lot of traffic has to go through here. Now, obviously, many of them would take the monorail. But I'm going to have to have a good think about that during the week if this is really the best way to go. Hey, Kaiju first. Thank you so much. You get a hug. And also a hug for Sherry Lee Gossett. Thank you so, so much. That's super nice. Name a dinosaur that has been in every movie besides T-Rex. Uh, Velociraptor? Alright, tracks are on the way. I think the airspace is clear. Almost, but we can grab them. That's a lot of Cosmos. 
I think I should also have a monorail station down here. Put it like right in front of this. I'm gonna curve it. We can do something with this. I might fix how the track is laid out over there. We can do something with that. What I also want to do is, uh, I'm going to be rebuilding this. We're going to be making it nicer once we're further into the build. But at, at a certain point, even though we're going to make it nicer, I do want it to be hidden. So we're going to make a bit of a mountain range in front of it. My frame rates are dropping like flies. We are at 21 frames per second. What is going on, game? Are you struggling? So we're just... Going back and forth, raising up the drain. We'll go a little bit higher over here. Oh god. Minecat asks, have you tried any Jurassic World Evolution 2 mods? Uh, I tried installing them and I ran into the issue that many of them don't actually work anymore after uh, the recent update. Uh, so I sort of went back to unmodded. Like, I haven't been able to play with any of them because the ones I wanted for a particular build didn't work. So I figured, you know what, I'll take this as my sign that I should go a little bit longer without mods. And honestly, no regrets. Like, I think, for example, I initially wanted to use mods for my Better Camp Cretaceous build because I had a specific idea for which I did need mods. But honestly, I feel like that uh, park slash camp turned out really great, so. And it's cool to me to sh be able to show that you don't, you don't need mods to make cool stuff. Yes, it's way easier to make cool stuff when you do have mods because you have so much more variety. But it's, you know, it's, it's fun to last a little bit longer without... Go a little bit higher in the center. Can you name a Toro Tyro? I'll do that, Anthony Sikra. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hold on a second. Hold on to your butts. I feel like if we add foliage to that, that'll be pretty good. Do we have a Toro in yet? No, I'm still working on the Cosmos. Release my airlift. Alright. Oh, and you get a Yahoo! Yahoo! I'm not the biggest fan of how this is. Hold on. Ah! I want to make sure that we... There. I don't want to lose a lot of um, pillars. Now we don't... We, we've lost one pillar, but that's okay. I don't like it when you have like this big stretch of, uh, of track with no supports under it. Because it looks so unstable. Is that a Toro? Yep. It's looking kind of nice. Obviously, I need to, like, change all of that to this. And I really need to change those palm trees. But the basis is starting to take shape. This can also just go somewhere. You know, branching off in different directions. Don't quite know yet where, but that's our options. I wish we could just make stairs. 
Because I would love for guests to be able to just go down over here, but I don't want to flatten the terrain to the extent to allow that realistically. So we can't have that. I probably went a little bit overboard with how long this stretches, but there's no going back in terms of that. Uh, what am I grabbing here? I might change it up and... Look how long it takes for this monorail track. Oh no, wait. <laughs> Doink, it's just blue because I'm in delete mode. Okay, she's a genius. Maybe I want to do that. Come on then, delete. Be gone! Gammon, 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 gammon. I don't have all day, literally. It takes forever. We really need a sandbox setting where this is just instant, because it's so annoying. Oh my god, it leaves a bit of track. Great. It's a little bit more into the park than I would normally want, but I think it makes sense. And then... Actually, hold on, let me try this. Honestly, I might like that. Now we need to... I don't want it to dip down as it's doing right now. So it looks like I have to curve away before that happens. So I have to get rid of that. And, I don't know, go somewhere with it. That's not awful. Damn, that is one intense brush tool. <laughs> I think that's gonna look quite nice, especially at night. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna release the model of source. Wait, no. First, I'm gonna name it Toro Tyro. Tor, 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 tor. There you go. There you go, as requested. And we're gonna just release them on Love Source. Look at their beauty. I don't have an exhibit for them yet. <laughs> release. Oh no, we didn't get my favorite combo. Sad. Yeah, oh wow, we really did not get my favorite combo. Rude. Rude. This one's nice though. Oh, I like that. That's very cool. And actually, with that, I am going to end the stream. I really appreciate you guys uh, coming to join over to this, uh, this stream after the first one failed. I really appreciate all of the support. We are at 676 likes. That is absolutely awesome. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you want to see the continuation of this park build and, of course, way more content on Jurassic World Evolution 2, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And tomorrow I'll be streaming as well. Same time as now. Hopefully, first time's a charm and no technical difficulties. And we're going to be checking out the Isle of Rima again. Uh, I want to say a huge thanks to the moderator. So that's uh, Gem, Sarcastically Inspired, Neron, Guillermo, Evolution Triangle. I'm sure Fletcher is still around. Uh, Omar was in for a little bit. And, uh, oh, I see Omar is still in the chat. Build! <laughs> uh, and if I miss any of the moderators, I'm so sorry. But I appreciate you, as always. And I want to say thanks to everyone for joining and watching. Uh, Doctor Strange, Kaijoverse, thank you so much for all of the super chats. That was super, super generous. Time traveling microwave. Okay, you win today's name competition. There's no competition and there's nothing to win. 
but if there was, you would win. That is an awesome, awesome name. Thanks for being here. Uh, Shrek, the commie compy. Raptor that hugs, aka Case Wings. Uh, Dynafax Gaming, Fluffy Raptor, Kim Hunter, SD. Oh god, your message got deleted, so you're. Uh, I, I, uh, you've been silenced! <laughs> Uh, Rickworld101, something weird, Glitzbog, Mr. Potato, Mr. Peanuts, what, a, what an interesting combination there, interesting pairing. Enrica's, uh, George Miles Racing, goodbye to you as well. Aiden is King, floating above, uh, above? Floating above. <laughs> Braxton, Blue Raptor, Eagles Pro, thanks for being here again. Jurassic World, Jake2005, kind of sus. LW God555, uh, Sepia Viva says goodbye, Josh McWilliam, Tyler Gillant, uh, Luke, hold on, Owofa Waraya, I'm so, I'm so sorry, I just butchered that totally, but thank you so much for being here. Uh, Chase Allen, hey, I didn't catch you earlier in the chat, say hello to Josh and hope you guys have a good weekend. Skylar Sweet, Armagon, AJ Harkness, uh, Priscilla, oh god, you got deleted, you got censored. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but you've been naughty. <laughs> uh, Saze, Beta, Emma Wayland, Dino Park, Dan, Blame George, Blue, Ivan Soro, Sydney Hogenboom. <laughs> Sydney Hogenboom says thank you to the moderators. That's really kind. Thank you, Sydney. Uh, Z Gaming, hashtag Carter Raptor, Kicker White Line. Thanks for being here, mates. King of Dinosaurs, Colt Handorf, Dragon Boy 65. As always, I appreciate you so much, mates. Um, Raptor, Jamat Parker, Augusto Didlow, of course. Thanks, mate. I appreciate you. Uh, Kim Hunter, Dinofax Gaming. I feel like I've had most people at this point. Just blanket statement. Huge thanks for being here. Thank you so much for 700 likes. You guys are the best as always. And I hope to see you in chat again for tomorrow. If not, then I hope you'll check out the next video on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game. Hey, Kaiju first, thanks so much. So the next stream uh, for Evolution is going to be next week, next Saturday. One final Yahoo, and then we're through. Yahoo!